do come on in and take a seat right at the chair that's in front of me, okay perfect I am Dr. I I am the ophthalmologist here in Dream City and it seems that you are here for an eye exam and perhaps a prescription chain When was the last time you'd been seen by a doctor? Okay, um, have you had any changes with your prescription or problems with your eyes since the last time you've been here or seen a doctor? Okay. And very quick, could I get your name? Good, and how do you spell that? With an I or an E? Okay. And what about your last name? Okay. I'm going to just check you in. And can I get your birthday? on and I'm going to be doing a general wellness of your eyes today. This includes eye exams with the Snellens chart which is behind me, a lens one or two exam if you've ever had that before, where I'm going to be testing your eyes to see which prescription fits you better and we're going to be doing a colour and shape test to see if your eyes are working and functioning properly and we do that to test for macular degeneration, uh, sometimes partial blindness, etc. Okay? So, I've got my gloves on now. I'm going to quickly ask you if I can just touch your eyes. Okay? I'm going to ask that you first close your eyes. Don't force your eyes shut too much, just close them. me again. Perfect. And then can you close your eyes once more? I'm going to carefully feel your orbitals, which are just the part of the eye that sit in the bone. Okay, so 
Okay, yeah, it's good. And I'm just going to carefully put just a bit of pressure on your eye. You let me know if that feels uncomfortable and we can change. with the eye. No, very good. Let's go into the other right to the right eye. Okay, any pain or pressure coming from the right eye? No? Okay. Okay. I'm going to quickly take a note of that. accentuate the pupil to see and take a peek at the back of the eye. Okay? So, you could just look down for me. Look down. Look down. Right where my fingers are. Look down. Good. And I'm going to carefully just pull the eye up. Keep looking down. Good. I'm going to apply a couple of drops. One. Two. And and if you could just close your eyes and open, close and open, close and open, and close and open your eyes. Good. On to the other eye. Keep looking down. Look down. Look down. Good. Going to carefully hold that. Going to go one, two, and three. Very simple, nothing too much to it. Okay. And I'm going to ask you now. Close your eye. And open. Close. And open. Close. Open. Close. And open your eye. Perfect. after I apply the medicine. From time to time people can get allergies to medicine. I'm going to note that. And I'm going to give your eyes a couple seconds to rest. Are you feeling okay? are going to dilate when I shine the light in them. Okay. And I'm just going to check. I'm going to ask you to have a look at the wall. I'll take a look at my nose, okay? So, shine. Good. Shine. Good.
apologies, but could you please either look right behind me, my ear or my nose? Thank you. Just keep a little bit of focus with me. I am looking quite deep into your eyes for just a second to just see if your eyes are reacting properly. Okay. Good. And are you seeing any blurry vision right now? Perhaps things behind me are a bit blurry at all. Okay. It's good to know. question. Can you please just follow the pen line? Thank you. With your eyes, just follow the pen line. Good. Perfect. Good. Perfect. Good. Perfect. Good. Perfect. I'm gonna take a look up close now, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing. Try to follow the light as best as you can. Good. Focus. Good. Focus. Good. Marvelous. Thank you. Cover each eye, just like so, and I want you to let me know if you're able to see properly. I'm going to be raising my hands in different numbers, and I want you to let me know if you're able to see and identify each. Okay, so first I'm just going to cover one eye, just like so, okay, just like so, and you let me know quickly. Are you able to see this? Good. And what about this? How many numbers is that? Two. What about this? Three. Good. And what about now? Five. Good. What about now? Perfect. And now? Good. I'm going to test the other eye now. Put this on your right eye. Just going to carefully just place it with the eye. Here we go. How many is this? Good. And now? Good. Now. Good. Now. Good. Now. Perfect. And five. Good. One. Good. And five again. Good. Thank you. I'm going to take a bit of cleanser. I'm going to cleanse the eye. This is just before I take a deeper look. Sometimes debris can sit on the eye. So, I'm going to open up this and a fresh cotton round. Perfect. Just a little bit of an eye cleanser. You just carefully close your eyes. Thank you. And this one smells exactly and like a bit of peppermint, if you could smell that. Marvelous. So just close your eyes, okay?
perfect. I'm going to take just a quick eye cleanser and just go around the eye. Okay, just set that. your vision. I'm going to do the one-two analysis. I'm going to take a quick look just from right here. And this is a magnifying board. I'm going to zoom right into your face, into your eyes. I'm going to make my face look a bit funny, but it is a very commonly used tool. And you'll see quite frequently that I'm kind of right in your face. If you could just look right at my nose, See here. Can you follow my finger? Okay, follow my finger. Very good. I'm going to grab my light. I'm going to ask you to look at it. Okay. I'm going to put this right back next to your eye. Light, please. It's going to weave and fluctuate. Good. Good. It's going to flash. Keep your eye on the flashing light. Good. So, looks like through magnification your eyes are fine. Is something that we test from time to time just to make sure that the back of your eyes is okay. It can look a bit funny at times, but I promise you it works quite well. So, how are you feeling right now? Though? Are you feeling uncomfortable? From time to time, the eye drops can make you feel a bit like you're having a bad to go. Do you feel like that? No? Okay, let's continue then. I'm gonna do something with the Snellens chart that's behind me, okay? And I'm going to point line to line. I'm going to ask you if you're able to read it, okay? Good. First, we're going to start off with the first one. Are you able to read line one? Let me just sit back and take a look. Line one, are you able to read? Good. And what letter is that? Marvelous, it's E. Good. I'm going to note that you're able to see that. possibly able to read without you having to look at it in a different way. Okay, would you say somewhere around 9 or 10? Or can you read 11? 11 is a bit difficult. And 10 is too. Can you attempt to read the 11th line for me? It says P 
lovely E Z Okay O L Okay C What's next? F or an E Okay T and D Marvellous Going to write that down Would you say that your eyesight is quite good? Or would you say that it could be decreasing over time? Okay. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the lens exam. And we're going to just go right through this. What we're going to do is we're going to test your eyes there are lenses that could correct your vision okay and this is going to tell me your prescription so first I'm going to slip these glasses on you and these will fit the lenses so you can see here you've got these goggles these lenses and they will be able to hold the test lenses around them so, it's also known as the one or two exam. I'm gonna put that on you if that's okay. Okay. Is that comfortable? Do we have to adjust them? No, they're good. Molders. So, first we're going to throw on a test lens, okay? And I want you to let me know you are able to see. Okay. So, I'm going to pass through on this lens and we're going to use without lenses as one and I'm going to use with lenses as two. Will you let me know which do you see better with one or two? Okay. So this is one, this, and this is two. Again, these are the tester lenses. And what do you see? Absolutely nothing perfect. And this is one. And this is two. Which is better? One or two? One, two. One or two. One. Okay, perfect. And here's another tassel lens. Here is one. And let's throw the second one on. This is two. So, we have one or two, one or two, one or two, which is better to you? One. Okay, and what did lens two do? Change the colour perfectly. Okay, we're now going to go on the dynamic eye exam. I'm going to quickly show you what I have. So. I have a lens kit here that's filled with various different prescriptions of cylinders and concave lenses that will change the prescription of your eyes, okay? First we're going to go with a convex cylinder and I'm going to ask you from the lowest and the highest prescription which is better, one or two. Okay, so I'm going to show you one. This one is one. Yes, quite good. Perfect. This one's one. And this one is two. So, let me show you one again. One. And two. One. And two. Which is better? One. Perfect. Oh, slowly following your normal prescription route. Okay, I'm going to show you the middle. Let's try this again. Okay, this is one, and that's two. One, two, 
one, two, one, two, which is better, one and two, one, good, okay, so your convex cylinder appears to be the same as before, you prefer the lower prescription and compare it to the higher. Additional lenses to correct the eye. Okay, we're going to move on now to convex sphere lenses, and you'll actually be able to see you can tilt the lens just a bit sideways, that the lens is just a bit protruding one direction, as to change the prescription. So, I'm going to use a 5, a negative 5 to prescription, a negative 10. And you let me know which is better. I'm going to use negative 5. This one's 1. And negative 10. This one's 2. 1. 2. 1. 2. 1. 2. And which one's better? Mm hmm. We've got 1 or 2. Better. Good. Thank you. I'm going to keep the negative 5. We're going to move down to negative 2.5. Okay. That's going to be this one. This is 1. And this is 2. And this is 1. And this is 2. 1. One, two, which one's better? One or two? This one's two. This one's one. One, okay. Let's drop the prescription one more time, just a little bit this time. Okay. And here we go, tell me what's better, one or two. This is one. That's two. One. That's two. This is one. That's two. One. And two. It's better. Two. Good. So we're getting closer and closer to our corrective lens. We have upped the prescription since last time by 0.25. Not too big of a deal. And let's continue. Tell me what's better, one or two. Now this one's one. Good. Again, this one's two. This one's one. And this one's two. One. Two. One and two. Any difference? One is better. Perfect. This is the overcorrected lens at negative 1.75. So it looks like you've just increased your prescription by 0.25. Last time it was negative 1.5. Perfect. Now I'm going to show you a different overcorrected lens. You tell me what's better, one or two. There's going to be very little difference in detail. So if you can't tell a difference, let me know. Okay. This one is one. This one's two. One. Two. One. And then two. One. And two. Which one's better? One. Okay. So we continue the convex sphere prescription. We're now going to look at the opposite side, which is the concave sphere. And if you can tell by the lenses, they're quite thick 
and on the inside of the lens, they do go inward if you're able to tell. Okay, so you let me know what's better, one or two. This one's one. Yes, perfect. This one's two. One, two, one, two, one, and two, which is better. Two. Okay. And what is the difference between vision since we use the convex and the concave spheres? Yes, they pull out a bit more. Perfect. So you should have a wild, um, a more wide field of vision now with the different sets of glasses, okay? This lens just quickly described to me the difference between one here without lens and two with lens. Wider field of vision, perfect. I'm going to drop the prescription now. Okay. Can you tell me what's better? One or two? This one's one. And this one's two. Okay. One. Two. One. And two. One. Two. One. And two. Which is better? Perfect. So, I'm going to move down the scale again. And you let me know what's better, one or two. Okay. This one's one. Okay. And this one's two. One. Two. One. Two. One. And two. Perfect. And we're going to go down to what used to be your prescription again. So, you let me know what's better, one or two. So this one is one. Okay. And this one's two. How old is the vision different? Is it still a bit fuzzy and a bit blurry? Okay. Then one. And two. Okay. And which one would you say was a bit better? Would you say that one was better than two? I'll show you again. Okay. So we've got one and two. One and two. Two. Perfect. So this one fits your 0.25, which is what you had for this particular size of lens. That's your corrective lens. This one's point two five. Okay. Now we're going to flip between the convex and the concave sphere. And you let me know which field of vision you prefer. I'm going to go first with the strongest. So, you let me know better what is more vis visible and better for you to see one or two. These are both going to be out of your description range. Okay. So, start off with one. Okay. And two. Which is better for you to see? One or two. One or two. One or two. Okay. So, you see a bit more detail in this one. And a bit less of a broader field in this one. Perfect. So, difference between these two lenses, convex and concave, is that this one actually zooms in a little bit to what you're seeing, kind of like a magnifying glass. It'll put detail in the front and erase it in the back. This one does the opposite. Put detail in the back and erase it in the front. The togetherness of both can actually provide a very good uh, lens for some people. I'll quickly show you if I put them together. Just laying the lenses on top of one another. I'll quickly show you. Just sit there, and this is one and two together. Can you see? Yes. That creates a dynamic look for some. And for those who have a strong prescription, they might need both. So, thank you. Just putting these lenses back now. Okay. I'm going to do just one to two tester lenses on you. 
Let me know what's better, one without and two. What do you see that's different? One and two. Pull back away from the image, one and two. So one is a bit closer, you say? Okay, and two is far away. Okay, good. And one more, which is actually close to your prescription. This is one without lens and two with lens. This is the corrected lens. Better or worse? One or two? One or two? Two? Perfect. So that is your corrected lens. I'm going to type that in now and see how your prescription has changed. that your prescription has stayed relatively the same other than with the uh, concave sphere we are just added on a 0.25 to make your new prescription negative 1.75 from original negative 1.50 that's not as bad as you can imagine it to be it's actually still considered very good vision very decent vision to some now what we're going to do is I'm going to send you in a new prescription form for you to fill out if you need new contacts or if you need a new glasses set just pick it up at the front we're going to finish off this exam with a bit of a card test I do this to make sure that there is no macular degeneration in your eyes to see if you have color deficiency and to see if you're able to just see general things, okay? so just have a set of cards here. Yes, they look like kids playing cards, but they're quite necessary in the eye field. So, I'm going to ask you, what shape do you see? Okay, and what is this? What is this? This is a circle. Very good. What colour is it? It's red. Very good. We've got a circle. Okay. I'm going to try on and move on now. And what shape do you see? What is this? And what colour is this? It's just like that. What colour and shape is that? It is a triangle and it is orange. Good. Going to move on now. Okay. Um, we've got another one here. That looks like so with four points. And what shape is that? It's a perfect. Okay, tell me what colour that is. Okay, tell me what colour that is. Green. Very good. Going to move on now. Now, you're going to tell me just the colour of the objects that you see. Okay. What colour is that? This object right here. What colour is that? That is blue. Perfect. Let's move on to the next. Now. What colour is this? That is grey. Good. You can see. Going to move on to the next. What colour are these? I do believe these are mushrooms. Perhaps ice pops. What colour are these? Pink. Very good.
we're going to move on to one last one. And are you able to see the colours in this? There are two different colours. What colours are these? Perfect, it is grey and white. Marvellous. So, I'm actually unable to identify the difference between purple and pink. There are certain colours I am unable to see, as I have colour deficiency in my eyes. So it's not uncommon to not be able to see colours, okay? In fact, it is quite common, and I'm going to write your results down. To finish our exam with something known as a visual field exam and this is to see where your eyes rest and what they can see just by standing still. So, I'm going to ask that you just face me direct, perfect, just square your shoulders up next to mine and do not move your head and keep your eyes on my eyes, on my nose. I'm going to test your visual field by seeing where your eyesight can stop. Okay, so I'm going to take my hands away from you and you let me know when you're unable to see my hand from your visual field. Let's begin. Okay, good, 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 good. The side. Good. 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 Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, let's do the opposite. Tell me when you see it in your peripheral vision. Don't move your head or neck. Your reflexes are working well, which is what I tested, and it seems that your peripheral dimension is working quite well. One last exam for you. I'm going to put my two hands here and you let me know which hand is close to my left or my right. This being on the right side, this being on the left, okay? So, let me know which hand is closer to you. Good. 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 Equal. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Great. Good. Good. Perfect. Good. Good. Nice. Good. Perfect. Good. Thank you. I do put my hands side to side from time to time, then you just say equal. I'm gonna write yourself there.
as for your final results, what I found is that you can just have a slight change in your prescription. There appears to be nothing different in your eyes other than just a slight shift in the lens that you need for glasses or contacts. Okay? Other than that, the health of your eyes is quite well. In fact, your eyes are doing very good. I'm just going to quickly just take a look up here. Just take me for a second. I'm going to remove those glasses from you. cease to work in about an hour you'll feel normal again okay thank you so much for coming on by again i'm dr i we'll also send your report in soon and as you walk out remember to grab your new prescription okay now this cheers have a good night <laughs>